Lesson 4, Stored Procedures Part 1, Stored Procedures Introduction Stored procedures are executable server-side routines. They give you great power and performance benefits if used wisely. Unlike user-defined functions UDFs, stored procedures are allowed to have side effects, that is, they are allowed to change data in tables, and even alter object definitions. Stored procedures can be used as a security layer. You can control access to objects by granting execution permissions on stored procedures and not to underlying objects. You can perform input validation in stored procedures, and you can use stored procedures to allow activities only if they make sense as a whole unit, as opposed to allowing users to perform activities directly against objects. Stored procedures also give you the benefits of encapsulation. If you need to change the implementation of a stored procedure because you developed a more efficient way to achieve a task, you can issue an alter procedure statement. As long as the procedure's interface remains the same, the users and the applications are not affected. On the other hand, if you implement your business logic in the client application, the impact of a change can be very painful. Stored procedures also provide many important performance benefits. By default, a stored procedure will reuse a previously cached execution plan, saving the CPU resources and the time it takes to parse, resolve, and optimize your code. Network traffic is minimized by shortening the code strings that the client submits to Microsoft SQL Server, the client submits only the stored procedure's name and its arguments, as opposed to the full code. Moreover, all the activity is performed at the server, avoiding multiple round trips between the client and the server. The stored procedure passes only the final result to the client through the network. You can create stored procedures using the create procedure statement. When creating a stored procedure, you should specify any input parameters and programming statements that perform operations in the database, including calling other procedures. Create procedure statements cannot be combined with other SQL statements in a single batch. When you invoke a user-defined stored procedure, you specify the exec, or execute, command and the stored procedures scheme a qualified name and arguments. In query analyzer exec or execute commands does not need to enter. Part 2, System Stored Procedures System stored procedures are procedures that were shipped by Microsoft. Historically, system stored procedures resided in the master database, had the SP underscore prefix, and were marked as system objects with a special flag, MS shipped. In SQL Server 2008, system stored procedures reside physically in an internal hidden resource database, 
and they exist logically in every database. A special procedure, SP underscore prefix, created in master, that is also marked as a system procedure gets additional unique behavior. You can mark a procedure as a system procedure by using the undocumented procedure SPMS mark system object. As an example, the following code creates the special procedure, which prints the database context and queries the information schema tables view. Execute the procedure. Change the master database, and then create a procedure. Execute the statement with SPMS mark system object procedure. Now, you can switch between database contexts and use SP show object info procedure. Part 3, Output Parameters Output parameters allow you to return output values from a stored procedure. A change made to the output parameter within the stored procedure is reflected in the variable from the calling batch that was assigned to the output parameter. The concept is similar to a pointer in C or a BIREF a parameter in Visual Basic. P result returns the information for the assessment of sales. To get the output parameter back from the stored procedure when invoking it, you need to assign it with a variable defined in the calling batch and mention the keyword output.
Do you want to learn new skills in the fastest and most effective way? Visit Learn with Video Tutorials.com